Hey guys, it's Shalina from M7 Properties. I hope that you are well, I hope that you are staying safe um, and I hope that your week has been productive thus far. And um, so I wanted to do a video to just share with you three simple tips um, in using Rightmove. I had to think then for a moment what I was speaking about. Um, yeah, so these are just three simple tips on using Rightmove. Um, Rightmove is one of the biggest, most popular portals, property portals that most investors um, will be using at some point throughout their day or week. Um, and these tips will just help you um, with your due diligence, with your sourcing. Um, and you may know these and you may know others. And if you do, then please, please drop them in the comments below so you can help somebody else. Because that's my goal is to help somebody who will see this and think, oh my goodness, I did not know that. And it just helps them in what they need to do. Um, so the first tip is how you can find the postcode. Because very often um, you'll come across a property and um, it will have the first part of the postcode, but it won't have the full postcode. So I wanna show you how you can easily um, get hold of that. So if I were searching for properties in Balham in South London, oh, oh, to my South London friends. <laughs> um, so you, I'm just gonna click into the first property that I come across. Okay, so the first thing that you can do, and this option does not always show up, so it's a good thing that there are two alternatives. Um, and as I say, if you know a third or a fourth, then definitely drop them below. So the first thing that you do is you scroll down and you come to where it says broadband, show the average speed um, at this postcode. So the clue is in the title, it tells you that it's gonna um, have some kind of link or reference to a postcode. So click into that. Um, and then click to compare broadband deals and then it opens another tab and it takes you to compare the market and the postcode, the full postcode is there, which is handy, as I say, if you need to do additional due diligence. So that's way number one that you can get hold of the postcode. The second way that you can do that, if you come over here to where property sold nearby, um, if you click view more, and that basically opens up and again, gives you the full postcode. Um, and this is just the sold prices. Um, so on that initial screen, it just gives you the first part of the postcode. So those are the uh, two ways that you can get hold of the postcode. So that was the first tip that I wanted to share with you. The second tip that I wanted to share, um, I literally came across this maybe a year ago um, and it has been, a game changer. <laughs> so um, let's go back, let's go back. So I am at the stage of um, initiating my search. Oh gosh, if I could type and spell. I'm having a mind, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. B-A-L-H-A-M. Sorry guys. <laughs> So right, when you're here, um, I discovered this, that there is a section to search via keywords. Um, very often, I don't know if you're the same, leave me a comment below, we jump onto this page and we just in immediately start scrolling, start searching. Um, but this little handy box here, much like you would find if you landed on a Google um, search page, you're gonna be able to search for a particular keyword. So if I know that I'm looking for properties that um, are family, uh, big enough for a family, for example, I would type family into the search box. I would press enter. And what it does is it um, filters and puts together all of the properties that use that particular search term that you've been looking for. So as you can see here, it's showing me family, here family. And I think actually Balam is referred to as Nappy Valley because it's like literally uh, like the highest percentage in London of families um, or like, yeah, families with young babies. So what I wanted to show you is when that search term isn't found, <laughs> Um, generally there's a red strike through, um, maybe I'll put a term that might not come up just to show you. 
So I'm searching for investment. Oh my goodness, Balan's gonna probably have loads of investment properties as well. Uh, okay, there we are, there we are. So you can see there's a red strike through where that term does not appear in the copy um, that the agent has used in the body of of the um, description of the property. So for example, if we clicked into this one, um, we should be able to find the word investment somewhere. So if I do a search, you see the term has come up. So it's just a really easy and helpful way of um, curating, I guess, uh, a list of properties based on a particular term without you having to click into a zillion properties to find that, you know, they're not relevant. If you are familiar with the terminology and the words that agents tend to use, so, you know, in need of update, charming property, all those kinds of things, if you search for those terms, um, you'll definitely be able to pull up what you're looking for. And then the third tip that I want to share with you um, is a plugging plug in that I have been using. There are a few property plugins and basically the, their purpose is to show you the um, changes in the art skin price of a property. Um, so you can see here in this box here, price change history. This isn't like what you would generally see on, on Rightmove, but when you have this Chrome extension, this plugin, you will get this additional um, level of, of detail. So it shows us here that the property was initially listed on the 3rd of March. Um, and we can see that by the 18th of May, there was a price drop it dropped by £8,000 um, and we can see that it has continued to drop. So um, on the 1st of October, it had dropped to 249 So this is really helpful and this is really telling because um, you can start to see where a vendor is, is um, what's the word, what's the word? Help me out guys, help me out. Motivated, they are a motivated seller, sorry it's late. Um, they're a motivated seller and we can see this from um, the fact that the, the art skin price just keeps dropping and it, I mean it could be that the agent kind of um, started high with the expectation that they would be brought down um, but again it could be that this seller depending on like the gaps between the drops you would begin to see this person is really motivated it could work the other way and you could see that the numbers are going up. Maybe they think, Do you know what, there's a lot of interest. I went in too low. I'm going to raise this um, art skin price. So those are my three simple tips for using Rightmove. If you know of any others, uh, don't hoard them. Don't be a hog. Share them. Share the love. Um, when one succeeds, we all succeed. There is more than enough to go around. So uh, don't be greedy. Don't hold on to information. But yeah, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you have any uh, comments or questions. I would love to hear from you. Um, so you take care.